Hey, before I get started with this lesson, just want to say thank you to everyone that's sent money, you know, to the channel or has sent kind words. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And with that said, let's get started. We're going to be going over Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. All right, now for that opening lick, it's going to be starting off of that, uh, like a B bar chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide from seven to nine on that D string. Sliding from seven to nine on that D string, on that uh, G, on the eighth fret. And then on that seventh fret is where we're gonna have the B and the high E. This kinda makes that shape. Okay, so. And you're gonna go over here to the sixth fret, D string, hit that twice. On that G, four to three. And doing the same thing on the B too. Ending with that high E, uh, sorry, not high A, what is that? High E on the uh, fourth fret. Then fifth fret on your D. G string four to three. D going from three to two. And that high E, two to three. So all together we got. And you're gonna do that twice. You're gonna do the same thing, same way twice. And then what I'm doing there to finish that opening riff off is going to be uh, four to two on your D string. Then four, two, one, D string, four on your A. I'm kind of doing a ghost note in between that. Uh, very, very quick, very subtle. All right. Now we're going on to the chords. No more, no more riffs, at least until we get to like the main part. But what you're gonna do here is kind of like a B bar chord again, but we're not gonna use our ring finger or our pinky. So it's just barring it and then putting your middle finger on that G, A fret. I'm gonna go slow. It's gonna kind of sound like a reggae song, but it's not. You, I'm going slow so you so you see what I'm doing. All right, so we're going from that that shape from where the B bar chord would be. Then go into our fourth fret, and we're just barring from uh, D string down. Then third fret, but we're going to do that shape again, where you're barring, and then you have your ring finger, middle finger on the G. So that's third fret, second fret. gonna do the same thing again but it's gonna be a little different so from there we're going three two one and now here's a fun part we're just barring starting on the seven this part is chromatic you're just gonna start on the seven, six, five, four. 
and you're gonna work your way up. We're gonna do it again, a little different this time. So in that one, same thing. Seven, six, five, four. Then you're gonna go four, five, six, seven, nine. And now we're back to this shape again. Barring on the seven, middle finger on the G. Okay, so, like I said, you gotta do that shape with your middle finger on that G. Then you're gonna move over one on that A fret, but this time you're gonna have your middle finger on the B, ninth fret. Then you're gonna make a E major seven. D sharp minor seven. C sharp minor seven. And you're gonna take your ring finger off of that D string. And you're gonna put your pinky on the high E on the seven. And you're gonna do that twice. And after you do that, then it's probably the most challenging part, but it's really, it's really fun when you get it. So I'm gonna demonstrate first, slowly. So that's another one we got done. Another one for the books. Yo, if this was helpful, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything else I can do to assist in further your development in your guitar journey. Also, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. That's the lesson. Once again, thanks to everybody that, you know, uh, contributed and uh, sent me kind words. Really appreciate that once again. Have a good one, guys.